everybody. Today we're going to learn about the trumpet and the cornet, how we're going to play them, and we're going to start with the first few notes. Okay, so here we have the trumpet, and here we have the cornet. As you can see, slightly different in length. The trumpet is longer than the cornet, or so it seems. But actually, they are the same length of piping, it's just on the cornet, it's bent round a little bit more. If you play them, sound exactly the same. On the cornet. On the trumpet. Now generally as a child, you will start with the cornet as it's much smaller to play. Very easy to start to play the trumpet or the cornet. You literally have the instrument and a mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece literally just pops in the end there. Now to play the trumpet or the cornet, you need to be able to buzz. So you don't blow your notes through the mouthpiece. You need to buzz through the mouthpiece. You need to tighten your mouth together and produce a buzzing sound, which goes through the mouthpiece. So I would suggest always trying the mouthpiece first. And then once you've got the idea of that, put it to your mouth, tight lips and buzz. To produce a clear sound. So we play the trumpet and call it in exactly the same way. With our left hand, we need to grab three pipes, putting one of our fingers in the ring there if you can to keep it nice and solid. With your right hand, this is our playing hand, your right finger, your little pinky finger, will go in the ring, and then we use these three fingers to play these three vowels. The first note that we play will be a note C. It's called an open valve position because we're not putting any of the valves down. No fingers down and we're going to play. That is a note C. Some people however, as they're blowing through, open valve produce a higher pitched note. G. That's fine. All you need to do is to try and loosen your mouth to produce a lower C. As we produced a C, the next note to learn is a D. We're going to use finger number one and valve number one. Finger number three and valve number three, so the outside valve. Finger number two and valve number two are going to stay up like this and we're going to produce a note D. And then to produce the next note, a note E, first valve down again, second finger, second valve, third finger's not down, so note E. So we have learned a note C, a D and an E. 